Hi, I'm Gil. Welcome to All Things Considered. Today we're talking about the New Age Revolutions with Royce, Adrian, and Dave. The topics of discussion on this fine evening are the Iranian and Russian revolutions. So, Royce, what were some of the significant causes of the Iranian Revolution? Well, the Iranian Revolution, or the National Revolution of Iran, took place from 1978 to 1979. The revolution's main cause centered around the discontent with the Shah's rule. The Shah was Mohammad Riza Pahlavi. Another cause was the exile of Ayatollah Khomeini, who is considered the first supreme ruler of Iran. He was imprisoned by the Shah in 1963 for his opposition to reforms. The revolution was mostly a surprise and lacked common causes such as economic crisis or war. Any important people? Well, of course the Shah was important because he was the ruler that most people disliked. Also, Khomeini was another important leader. He returned to control after the Shah left. He was a Shiite cleric, making him make this re revolution a Shiite movement. What were some of the effects of the revolution? Um, well, after Khomeini took control, Islam became the official religion, and the Quran was taught in schools and all other religions were denied. Clerks also began to gain political power and put restrictions on smoking and drinking. What were the ideas of the revolution? Women were also forced to wear veils out in public, and men were encouraged to have beards. Overall, the ideas that came from this revolution were based on Islamic principles. So what was the most important aspect of this revolution that affects our world? Well, I think it's the way that it has changed the U.S.'s relationship with Iran today. A lot of conflicts are made as a result of this revolution. And now, Adrian, on the causes of the Russian Revolution. The Russian Revolution of 1917 was due mainly to the dissatisfied people of Russia because of the Tsar's actions. The country was full of poor serfs who had to pay taxes to the rich aristocrats, which made the poor poorer and the rich richer. They also got a humiliating defeat in the Russo-Japanese War due to Japan more quickly adapting to industrialization. Also, the suffering of millions of people because of World War I caused debt and famine. And a civil war between the Reds and the Whites ensued inside the country. Also, Rasputin had influenced the Tsar and committed bad actions in the public, making people want to overthrow the Tsar. What are some of the effects of the revolution? The effects of this were new economic policies and Russia eventually coming forward as a world power. Then, communists attempted to spread through the world due to its success in Russia. But in Russia, communists was the only political party allowed, and since, back then and still today, it is an overall aspect of communism to overthrow capitalism. Any important people? Yes, there are, Gilberto. Tsar Nicholas was the cause of the revolution and lost control of his country. Then, Vladimir Lenin and the communists gained a strong foothold in this fallen country. After the death of Lenin, another extremist, Joseph Stalin, took control and applied major changes to the revolution. What are some important ideas of the revolution? Many important ideas came from the revolution, such as Leninism, which derived from the basis of Marxism. Other ideologies came into place, such as the use of a dictator when using communism. What are some important ideas of the revolution? Many important ideas came from the revolution, such as Leninism, which derived from the basis of Marxism. Other ideologies came into place, such as the use of a dictator when using communism. And now on to a break. In this short break, we want you to know you can learn all about every revolution in seconds on www.everyrevolutionhistoryforyourcommonknowledge.com/gil. 
This is the best website ever. So when you get home, take a peek. Once again, the website is www.everyrevolutioninhistoryforyourcommonknowledge.com.au. Come check us out. And welcome back. Here today to tell us about the similarities between the Russian and Iranian revolution. Well, both revolutions resulted in the way each country ruled, as the Russian revolution led to communism, and as the Iranian revolution led to an Islamic-based government. And the other similarities? Those both also had a community that heavily disliked their leaders, as the Russian community showed an enmity towards Tsar Nicholas and his weak rule, and the Iranian community showed an enmity towards Mohammad Reza Pahlavi. Any differences? Although both Iran and Russia had similarities, both were ignited by many differences. Russia was heavily influenced by World War I, as it showed the weak rule by Tsar Nicholas. In Iran, however, the revolution was sparked by the Shah leaving the country. This also led to the return of Khomeini, who was exiled back in 1963. The weakened government in Russia was succeeded by Lenin after the Civil War. While in Iran, the government was taken up by Khomeini in 1979. Based on the similarities and differences, what do you think the future holds for the Iranians? I believe that the Iranian government will temporarily prosper, but in the long run, I believe that they will uh, collapse due to political fragmentation and harsh rule due to no freedom of religion. That's it for tonight, folks. Check us out on the next edition of All Things Considered, when we talk about the evolution of revolutions.